there are scuff knots on the floor. The sign is crooked. And what's that noise? <laughs> the rats! That duck! Do you hear that? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Scarcely cat, hey! What's up with you? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. No. I can see something's bothering you. What's going on? There are all rats in a cat's market, Megan. Do I really need to go on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Well, the display looks beautiful. I can smell the cheese from here. I really want to know what's going on. Oh, my competitors. Cheese Mart is rolling back their prices again. Uh oh. Cats like me are known for their wealth and posterity. It's an insult to the necky necklace to drop prices on high quality goods simply to keep up with low cost merchandise. Sounds like you really have a lot riding on this stinky cheese, don't you? Skunks are demanding customers. But if it's one thing they like, it's the stinky cheese. And Limburger cheese is the stinkiest cheese in all the world. <laughs> Certainly lives up to its reputation. Oh. Only I had the connection to its favorite cheese maker, Count Limburg. Wow. His secret is letting the cheese sit out in the sun for three whole months before shitting. That sounds appetizing. Not only that, but because this extra step takes so long, this product is incredibly scarce. Ah, yes, scarcity, when there's less of something than everyone wants. Precisely, Negan. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> this cheese should sell like crazy, then. Well, Negan, what if Cheese Knot finds out how to contact Count Lindbergh? Mm, yeah? I've already had to dramatically reduce prices just to keep up. It's so hard knowing what the right price is. I see. If I don't get this right, I could lose my store! <gasps> don't worry, Scarcity Cat, I'll help you out. What are you thinking about charging right now for the cheese? It would be nice to have a lot of customers again. I was thinking about charging one penny per pound. <laughs> mm, that seems a little low. Hold on, hold on. I wonder what would happen if we charged one penny per pound. is too low, there will be more skunks that want the cheese than you can provide it to. Demand will be too high, and supply will be too low. Right. I think you need to set the price higher. I would feel awful if anyone were left out. Linda the cheese truly smells disgusting. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what about one million dollars per pound? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that one. One million dollars per pound is too much. What if we throw in a three tumble lead? <sighs> hmm. Let's try this. How much did each pound of Limburger cheese cost to buy from Count Limburg? 
Let's see. Okay. Carry the two. It cost me three dollars per town to get the cheese to my store. Okay, and you want to make a profit, don't you? Of course. So you'll need to mark up the price from three dollars. Okay, let me see. I see. So what if we charge seven dollars per town? That might work. Oh. Yes, yes. Seven dollars minus my initial cost of three dollars. <gasps> That leaves me with four dollars tothet per pound! That's right! Those tothets could grow the cheese knot! And I can sell all 88 pounds! There you go! At that price, I could pay the grit and even have money left over for a few rat traps! <laughs> what do you say we leave the poor rats out of this? Oh, Megan, the store is saved! You see, Scarcity Cat, if you price fairly and accurately, there's enough cheese for everyone who can afford it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Business is booming! Yes, I think we finally figured out how to price our items. It feels amazing! <clears throat> Excuse me, madam. Do you happen to have any Roquefort cheese from France? I'm holding a stinky cheese party next month, and my guests would simply flip. <laughs> no! Roquefort? From France? Get me your on the third. Do I need to dine gorges? Grills? Blocks? Truckles? No! Yeah! Yeah! Here we go again.